it's probably one of my favourite games of this year so far, but it seems like a lot of people aren't really enjoying it. Even those who have played it perhaps don't really understand what it's all about. This is probably because also Nauts is a MOBA. Now, MOBA stands for Massively Online Battle Arena Game, which doesn't really mean anything. Your only objective in a MOBA game is to destroy the towers so you can destroy the base. However, as soon as you jump into a game, you don't even want to think about trying to attack the towers. Now obviously that's a bit weird and leads a lot of people being really unsure what they're supposed to be doing and dying a lot in the process. So let's pull this down to the absolute basics. The first thing you do not want to do when playing Awesome Knots is die. Every time you die you are giving free points to the enemy team which is going to make them more powerful. If you do that over a long period of time you're going to lose the game. It's called feeding in mobile games and you do not want to be a feeder. If you've hopped online to a game and found people start shouting at you, this is probably why. Now that you know that, it's a question of what should you be doing when you jump into a game. And this bit is actually quite easy. First of all, you want to be going around and destroying lots of the little bots. Killing these harmless enemy robots is an easy way to start chalking up lots of money to spend on upgrades. It's also worth running around and killing some of the little critters. In addition to getting health, you'll also get a little bit of experience. This all adds up into buying cool stuff. Eventually, you'll be powerful enough to storm across the whole map and win the game. But to begin with, you want to play it a little bit safe. While you'll be wiping out the enemy's robots to gain a little bit of extra cash, you'll want to be looking after yours quite closely. Positioning is a really important thing in Awesome Norse. When you're attacking enemy turrets or when you're even in team fights, it's worth trying to stay away from the fight if you can. Particularly if you're ranged, you want to be standing behind the enemy robots so that you don't soak up any of the damage. If you're at a loose end and you don't know what to do, it's not a bad idea to try and just push up some of your robots closer towards the enemy turret. At the end of the day, it's these little robot dudes that are going to win or lose the game for you. It's also worth keeping an eye out for these dudes with the rocket launchers. Every time you destroy a turret, you'll get one. If he dies, no good. But if you can keep this guy alive, he will cause some serious damage to the enemy team stuff. When you first jump into Awesome Knots, it can be a little bit overwhelming. There are a huge amount of skills, and there are six characters, soon to be eight. Uh, you can really get lost with this stuff. What I'd recommend is keeping it simple. Stick to one or two characters, and just try and focus on one skill to begin with. If you're playing as Leon, it's not a bad idea to really focus on stealth. You can use this to initiate fights, which is what a lot of people do. You can basically make yourself invisible, run in, stab someone, run off. But to be honest, at first, I'd recommend just trying to use it for escape. Uh, it takes about 8 seconds to recharge, so it's worth keeping for when things look really bad, so you can just get out of there. Now, my personal favourite character, and a really good starting place if you're new to the game, is to play as Lone Star. If you just concentrate on maxing out his dynamite skill, you will cause some serious damage to the enemy team, and you'll also be able to chip away at turret health without getting too close. There's plenty of time for experimenting with different tactics later, and to be honest, if you really click with Awesome Knots, you'll be playing this for a long time. I've probably talked about about 40 or 50 hours so far. I am horribly, horribly addicted. But to begin with, try and keep it simple. The main thing is not dying. If you can play a whole game and die very few times, then you've done a really good job. And that means playing it really safe. If the enemy is outnumbering you, just get out of there and get some health. If you're low on health, pull back close to the turret. If you're really low on health, then don't be afraid to just hold down the RB button and teleport back home and get that health back. If you're rushing after an enemy to try and get a last minute kill next to their turret, don't do it unless you are 90% sure that they're going to die and you're not. When it comes to getting involved with fights when you're low on health, always try and engage the enemy when you're near to your turret, because that's really going to chip away at them and you will walk away smiling. At the end of the day, MOBA games are about trying to take advantage of other people's mistakes whilst you make as few mistakes as possible. And for that reason alone, I would highly recommend playing against real people. Playing Awesome Knots against bots just isn't really fun because bots can't be programmed to make mistakes and do stupid things and get cocky like real people will. Get online, start playing, and see how you get on. There are two brand new characters being added to Awesome Knots later this week for absolutely no money at all. So if you never played this game, you don't really understand what it's about, now's a really good time to hop in because it's absolutely amazing and barely anyone's playing it, which is a real, real shame. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. My name is Matt Lees, aka Jam Sponge. You can follow me and the magazine on Twitter. If you have enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll make some more in the future.